Sean, how you doing, man? My name is Aster Black. I'm from the Bob Marley School for the Arts Institute here in Falmouth, Jamaica. Okay, Aster, can you tell the readers out there exactly what is the Bob Marley School? The Bob Marley School for the Arts is a college to educate students in Jamaica tuition-free in all areas of the arts, including marketing the arts, culinary arts, music, film, video, radio, mass media. The entire gamut, including fashion design, everything that encompass reggae arts. This extremely worthy, extremely worthy foundation uh, that you developed now been in existence since 1991? 90, 94. 94. 1994, yeah, we have a television channel here. It's called Bob Arts TV, and uh, we do local community programming, and um, young lady do teen life, and lots of informative um, community programming. Yeah. And how many, how many kids annually do you enroll in the school? Well, we, um, we're still enrolling. Um, our final capacity, we think, is going to be 4,000 students and in the different areas of the arts. And this is not just for local Jamaican kids, hoping to attract international students? Yes, we're hoping to have 20% of our school body, 20% um, and 80% um, will be tuition free for Jamaicans because Jamaicans can't afford um, art school. And so if a, if a student, if a, a, a child in Jamaica can sing, uh, we teach them how to sing better and give them a full rounded um, group to work with so they'll have their fashion designer, they have their photographer, they have the PR person, all student body. So, when we send a group on tour, they'll have everyone with them, including their culinary artists. Asta, we're in the 21st century. Uh, we're living in a very benevolent society. Uh, corporate responsibility is a buzzword within the corporates, within the travel industry. And what can the industry do to help? Well, um, today, in all the, 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 um, the hotels in Jamaica, you find they're singing all different kinds of songs. People come to Jamaica to hear Jamaican. And we find they're doing foreign music in there. You can hear Michael Jackson, the One Gloves. Our thrust is to give the people real Jamaican cultural music so that when they leave here, they say, yes, they really did come to Jamaica. But what can the travel industry do to help? Anyone out here wants to be involved, what can they do? Um, what can they do? Um, funding. Funding is key, and especially equipments. For example, for our television um, studio, we need high-tech cameras. We need good computers. We need everything that encompass learning. Right now, we're putting in the internet. We're trying to get every community in Jamaica to have wireless internet. And um, so we're working on that so that we're looking for IT companies to come in and work with us. All our music, all our classes, we want to stream. And we're looking for IT people. And so we need funding. And some of the, um, most of the people in the tourism industry, they do know how to um, attract. And they have people and their staff to deal with IT. We're looking for them to send some of their people to us at the Bob Marley School to help us get in that first world uh, mentality. So Asta, when can, when can we watch out for the next Bob Marley coming out of the academy? They're coming out every day, man. Every day they're coming out. For example, you know, new men, not only the Marley family, but new singers, but they just need, we getting ready now to launch them, to get them more groomed and more ready to be seen. So, um, the next one? Next one? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, man. Asta, thanks a lot. Respect. Yeah, respect. Uh, thank you very much, man. To the world. Yeah.